So, let's talk about shopping. For years, online shopping has been pretty straightforward. You search for an item, you scroll through pages, you add it to your cart, and check out. It works, but it's not exactly smart. Now, artificial intelligence, or AI, is stepping in to completely overhaul that experience. This isn't just a minor update, this is a fundamental rewrite of how we find, choose and buy things online. Find, choose, buy. It's happening right now, and the biggest names in tech and retail are leading the charge. This shift is all about making shopping faster, more personal, and way more efficient. Faster, more personal, way more efficient. The major players here are exactly who you'd expect. Amazon, Walmart, Meta, and Google. Each one is a giant in its own right, and they're all in a race to integrate AI into their platforms. They're not just adding a few new features, they are rebuilding their core systems around AI. Every click, every search, every purchase is data that fuels these models, making them smarter with each interaction. Amazon has been an AI company for a long time, even if they didn't always call it that. Their entire business model is built on a foundation of data and algorithms. The recommendation engine is the classic example. It's responsible for a huge chunk of their sales, and it's constantly getting smarter. It analyzes your purchase history, what you've browsed, what's in your wish list, and even how long you hover over an item. Then it compares your data with millions of others to predict what you'll want next. But Amazon is pushing beyond recommendations. Look at Alexa, deeply integrated into shopping. You can add items with your voice, track your packages, and get notified when they arrive. AI optimizes their logistics, from predicting regional demand to optimizing delivery routes, powering two-day and even same-day shipping. It's a complex logistical dance with AI as the choreographer. In Amazon Go and Fresh stores, computer vision and deep learning track what you take and charge your account. No checkout. It merges online convenience with in-store immediacy. Amazon uses AI to get you to the site, help you find what you want, make the purchase seamless, and deliver faster than anyone. Even customer service is AI augmented, with chatbots handling volume before human handoff. For Amazon, AI is the operating system, making shopping almost as easy as thinking about it. Walmart's approach to AI is a little different from Amazon's. As the world's largest brick-and-mortar retailer, the challenge is blending a massive physical footprint with a growing online presence. AI is the bridge between those two worlds. One of their biggest investments, supply chain and inventory management. They forecast demand with accuracy, keep shelves stocked, reduce waste, and prevent out-of-stock disappointments. Autonomous robots scan shelves for inventory, check pricing errors, and spot misplaced items, freeing employees to focus on customers. AI monitors checkout lanes and triggers new registers when lines get long. Online, Walmart is investing in its platform and recommendation engine. They're experimenting with conversational AI, text a list and get it organized for pickup or delivery. AI powers express delivery, optimizing routes for two-hour fulfillment. The goal is a seamless omni-channel experience. Same great journey on app, web, or in-store. AI connects everything so your online history influences what you see in-store, and vice versa, with timely, personalized offers as you walk in. This connected ecosystem is Walmart's advantage, and they're betting heavily on AI to make it real. Meta and Google aren't direct retailers but they might be even more influential in your shopping journey. They are the discovery layer of the internet. Their business is understanding what you're interested in and connecting you with products. For Google, search is where it starts. AI interprets intent, not just keywords, surfacing reviews, listings, and articles to help you decide. Performance Max uses AI to automate creative and targeting across YouTube, Gmail, Maps, and more. Advertisers provide images and text. AI assembles the best combinations and placements. For shoppers, ads are becoming hyper-relevant, less random, more aligned to recent searches and browsing. Meta has turned its platforms into social commerce engines. Discovery Commerce shows products you might love but weren't actively seeking, based on follows, likes, and videos you watch. When you tap Shop Now, you're engaging Meta's recommendation AI. Both Meta and Google now use generative AI so a small business can describe a product and instantly get multiple ad images and copy. 
That lowers barriers to entry, boosts competition, and surfaces a wider variety of products in creative ways. These platforms aren't just for friends anymore. They're AI-driven shopping malls personalized for you. So, what does this mean for the future of how we shop? The trend is clear. Shopping will become more conversational, more visual, and intensely personal. The static search bar is on its way out. In its place, AI shopping assistants say, find me a waterproof jacket for hiking in the Pacific Northwest next month under $200 and make it blue. The AI understands context, weather, budget, style, and returns a curated list, not noise. See great sneakers on the street, snap a photo, and AI identifies brand and model with instant buying links. Tools like Google Lens are early versions getting faster and more accurate. AR lets you preview a sofa in your living room or try sunglasses on your face right from your couch. That reduces returns and boosts confidence, removing major friction. Ultimately, AI removes friction and adds value. Shopping becomes less chore, more engaging experience. Browsing, discovering, and buying blur into one intelligent flow. Yes, there are real concerns about data and power, 